living for Arsenal was a dream that came true. I have no shame to say that I wanted to be one of the best in the world. I haven't done it because I have injuries. That's my story. As we say in French, you know, avec les six, tu refais le monde. Maybe avec les six, tu coupes du bois. Voilà, vous. It's nice to see you uh, back in London. How does it feel to be back in this beautiful place? Um, I would say uh, there is a lot of uh, emotions. It's a, it's a place where I dream to, to play. When I came here, I played uh, alongside you know, great players. And uh, I remember my first game, you know, I played with uh, Cherry Henry and Dennis Burkamp on this, on this, uh, on this, this pitch. pitch yeah. So it was, for me, it was incredible. Yeah. Incredible and uh, yeah, I've, I've, I feel very emotional right now. Let's get back to how you started your career when you were a kid. Did you always dream to be a, a football professional player? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think everything started by a dream. And, uh, and my dream was to uh, obviously to become a professional football player, but on top of that, to play for one of the, the biggest, uh, biggest club. And uh, I've been fortunate to play for, for Arsenal. It was a dream to, to play for, for this club. Well, I remember you because we both come from Clairefontaine, so obviously when I heard that you were joining the club, I was, you know, I was happy. I remember watching that documentary yeah. à la Clairefontaine. <laughs> yeah. Have you made up with Atem Ben Arfa? No, Are you we, a good we, friend? Yeah, or? Of course, still, yeah? still, still. <laughs> we, we, we've always been friends, actually, you know. So, you know, it happens, you know, when, you, when, when you're young, kids, you, when yeah, you're yeah, kids, no. you know, you, you fight with your, with your mates, you know, and that's uh, what happened at the, uh, back in the day. But uh, we, we're still friends, you know, we, we still meet each other. And yeah, Clairefontaine is, uh, is very good memories, you know. Then you started after playing professional football at Auxerre, yeah? And uh, when you joined from Auxerre to Arsenal, did you feel any pressure? Of course, definitely, because in football, as you know, you know we always have to prove. But uh, my, uh, my objective was clear. I was conscious about what the club will uh, expect from me. When you come in this club, obviously, you know, you play with big players, you know, you have to put uh, yourself uh, at the same level. So, yeah, it was uh, an opportunity for me to work hard and to improve. To prove yeah, yourself. And yeah. to prove myself as well. Diaby is racing through the middle. Diaby! The Arsenal fans saw you come in, Patrick left, and expected you to be the new Patrick, kind of. Did you realise that pressure, or did you just want it to prove yourself and, and just make your own name? First, I have to admit that uh, it's a pressure. It's a pressure. It was a pressure because, uh, obviously, uh, Patrick Vera is a monument here. And people, you know, has, uh, have this tendency to, to look at uh, the past all the time. Yeah. It was a bit kind of a pressure, but me, I just wanted to be myself at the end of the day. Me, I know in my, in my own experience, obviously I played behind Thierry, and for me to play, Thierry had to be injured yeah, basically, yeah. you know, which was, which was yeah, tough. Yeah. In your case, Patrick has left the club at that time when you, when you arrived, yeah. so I, at least you had that position yeah. and, and the opportunity, if you had done well in training, to, to get that starting 11 spot. No, because the thing is, uh, obviously, you know, we have similarities, but uh, I just thought that we, we were different as well, you know. At some stage, I just thought that, you know, I just need to be myself and, and that's it. And that really is the, the, the pressure, I would say, yeah. Smith. Smith here now for Everway. started playing, doing well, until that Sunderland game where everybody knows what happened. Talk us through how you saw this challenge from Dan Smith and how you, that kind of impacted on your career. 
it definitely had a, a big impact on my career because before that I never knew what was, uh, I don't know, muscular injuries. This accident uh, you know, created you know, more injuries after that. At that time I was young, I was only what, 19 or 20. So you get injured and then you just think, okay, I will uh, get my treatment and then I'll go back uh, on the pitch, you know. But uh, that's after. When I came back on the pitch, I knew that something was different. When I was running, something was different, you know. My foot, you know, was, uh, I lost it, uh, a lot of uh, flexibility on my, uh, on my ankle. I was less quick, I would say. And uh, I knew that something's changed, you know, and uh, that's where I start to think our oh, well, now is, uh, is a bit different. I start getting injured often, start having like muscular injuries. And do you think that's all related to, and to that? It's definitely related to that, yeah. It's definitely related to that because before that I never knew what was a muscular uh, yeah. injury. So, you know, when, you, when you're young, you know, you dream, uh, you dream of being, you know, one of uh, the best players and you play for a great team. And uh, suddenly, you know, you think that, uh, you feel that it will be difficult you not know, to achieve this goal because something is wrong with your health and with your body. So it, it does affect you, you know, mentally a little bit, yeah. So did you start thinking that that guy, that tackle, that incident might have completely just changed my career, really? To be honest, I never blamed him. Um, he knows, as you know, you know the, the football can be violent sometimes, you know, and uh, and I did uh, uh, get to, you know the, 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 this violence, you know, from football. And the thing is, you know, if, he, if even if he walks in here, yeah. I won't recognize you him. Won't recognize <laughs> no. him now. You won't recognize him now. You won't. If someone tells me, yeah, he's Dan Smith, I say, oh, I will say, yeah, how are you? Because I don't, I, you don't, yeah, I, don't, yeah, I don't remember. I don't, face, I, don't, I, don't so, remember yeah. I don't even remember his face. But I have to say that uh, at the club, you know, I get, I got a lot of support, you know, from uh, from the club, from the manager, from the um, medical team, and uh, just want to say thank you to them because uh, it was uh, it wasn't easy. Yeah, it wasn't easy. So just to light up the mood a little bit, it was not just all injuries. I remember I came back to the club in in 2006 in July, and that's when we first started training and playing together. So uh, how did you feel that season when you got back from that injury and started to play again and, and obviously having some, yeah, having some great games? At that time, it was, uh, for me, it was breathing. I mean, you know, I, I was coming back from a, a long, um, a big injury and uh, a long period of, out, of the, out of the field. And obviously, you know, I came back and uh, we had a very good campaign, you know, in Carlin Cup, you know, we have a few games. I remember we played a game in Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. You yes. know, and, uh, and I thought, you scored, how many goals? Uh, you, I scored one. You scored one, yeah, yeah, you yeah, scored one, but it was, uh, yeah, four, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was an incredible game and uh, and actually this game, was, that was my first game when I came back from injury. Oh, was it your first game? Yeah, yeah, oh, like, I didn't, was, I couldn't remember yeah, that was your yeah, first game. This back. one I remember because obviously, you know. What a good game a, to come back, it, yeah? Exactly, it was a very good game. It was my first, for my first game and uh, for me it was very good memories you know because we were playing a very good football you play this kind of game you finish the game you know you, you you're happy you know because you enjoyed playing yeah. football but uh, at the top level it was uh, it was unbelievable unbelievable and uh, yeah, still, uh, I miss that, to be honest, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I think yeah, about it a lot yeah, of the time yeah, as well, and I do, yeah. I do miss it, yeah. yeah. I do miss it, but uh, yeah, so that was a, a great play, a great period that I, will, that I will never forget. I left the club in 2007, but you obviously guys yeah. playing really well. Do you feel that season, that's the closest you've been to winning the Premier League? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. You know, the, the run we have during the season was unbelievable. And uh, unfortunately, you know, where, where, the, the, the moment where you have to be consistent and you have to, you know, win games, you know, unfortunately, we did not win those games, you know. And unfortunately, yeah, we, we, we missed the trend when we, we, we had to when, catch it, yeah. Yeah, when you have to take it. 
one thing that I will I will keep is that yeah we we play an amazing football you know mm. and uh, you know I think uh, I don't know if there is any team you know who who play this play kind of football yeah. you know even even today so so yeah that's the that's the thing that I will keep and maybe maybe it was due to the pressure as well because we was playing such a, a good football that everybody was talking about and uh, and sometimes you know it's hard to keep the focus and. Uh, and maybe we lost, yeah, we lost the focus, you know, at the end, you know. We were many points ahead during about uh, December, January. But uh, yeah, when we had to win games, you know, unfortunately we, we lost and we missed the title at that time, you know. And uh, that was the season definitely where we were the, the closest, you know, to, to win the title, yeah. Abu Diaby, that does it! From that, obviously, you started performing for the next couple of years after that. For two years, you just were one of the best players. I just wanted to, to improve myself all the time. I remember at that time, I, I, I've worked a lot physically, you know, to be able you know, to, to face those challenges that we were talking about. I had no choice for me, to be honest. With my ankle, with the, with the injury that I had, I, I had to work really, really hard physically. And, uh, and it allows me to play a full season. And for me it was great because I wanted to go to a different level and uh, it did happen at, the, at, the, at that time. You know? Everybody that we spoke to at the time that, that played with you in, the, in them couple of seasons, they all said that you were the best player in the team and, and everybody were talking about you, how well you were doing. So did you, did you feel that? Did you feel that you were close to, to the top players in the world? Definitely gave me a lot of credit. I have to say, you know, from uh, from from my teammates, you know, from uh, other people in football as well. And I have to say that, yeah, I was, uh, I felt that I was, so I was getting, I, 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 I was getting closer, you know, to the best players. For me, it was a very, very good achievement because I wanted to, yeah, to go to another level, and it did happen in this season. And, uh, and obviously, you know, uh, when you play for a big club and you, you feel that personally, you know, you, you reach another level, so you get, you get closer to the, to, the, to the best players. Oh, yes! It's Giambi for Arsenal! During that year where, where you were at the top of your form, you, you got to that World Cup, that 2010 World Cup. How did it feel to play for France, you know, and, and how did that World Cup when if we all know that it didn't go very yeah, well for yeah, France, yeah, but yeah. tell us a bit about it, yeah. Uh, first of all, I would say that uh, you know, play for, playing for your country is a big, uh, it's a huge, it's a big honour. On top of that, uh, to dispute a, a World Cup was even more an honour because uh, not many players know uh, nah, play, right. play, 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 yeah. play a World Cup. You know, every player would like to, to play a World Cup, but unfortunately it didn't. Uh, <laughs> It didn't uh, went uh, as we wanted. Everything collapsed, you know, because for for different reasons. It's a shame because we wanted to do well, but uh, yeah, some problems happened, and unfortunately, you know, we it went wrong after that. What well, I have to say personally, yeah, I got a lot of credit from uh, from that and uh, this uh, from from the World Cup because I I tried to to give my best, and uh, and I I did my best, but. Uh, Fortunately, you know, you know you, you're not alone in the team, you know. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> you know? And uh, and yeah, it did not uh, it did not happen as uh, as I wanted personally. After that World Cup, that's when it kind of all went very difficult for you. You were in and out of the treatment room. That's when you started really pick up quite a lot of injuries. Yeah, it was, uh, I have to say that uh, it was a tough period for me. After the World Cup, I came back, but I got injured you know, three weeks after. I got a tackle from Robinson. Yeah, I remember, yeah. Yeah, and this one, I have to say that uh, killed my season, to be honest, yeah. yeah. Because um, I start feeling something strange on my ankle. So I stayed a couple of months, you know, with this instable um, ankle. And at the end of the season, the, the, the doctor decided you know, to have an operation. 
When I got the surgery, before that we realized that my, I, um, one of my bones was broken. Which you didn't know that at the time? We didn't know at the time. So they have to remove that extra bone, you know, from my ankle. And then, you know, my body has to adapt to my foot and uh, it created, you know, other injuries, you know, injuries that I never had before, for example, armstrings. And uh, yeah, I was I spent two years really, really, really difficult, yeah. And at that time, did you, did you think I'll never go back to the top? I'll never go back to what I was doing before the 2010 World Cup, that great season you had here. Did you realize that with all them injuries, I'll never get back to, to what I was? No, I was still hoping that I could. The injury itself wasn't a big injury. It was small injuries, but small injuries that were coming often. I was always trying to, to find you know, a solution how, to, how I could uh, you know, avoid those injuries, you know. But I have to say, you know, my last two years, you know, it was difficult, yeah. Even to come in the stadium because uh, you just watch, you know, your, your teammate play, you know, you cannot play, you want to play, so it's hard, it's really hard. At that time, at that difficult period, were you aware of, of the press, the fans, people saying that you're too often injured and maybe you should think about just retiring, that you could not go back to playing? To be honest, no, not really. You were really focused on... I was really focused, but I have to admit that uh, this idea came through my mind, you know. Not because listening to people, but uh, just myself. I was thinking, I'm young, but okay, I, I'm getting injured. It may be time to retire. Those ideas you know, came through my mind, but you know, after that, you know, you just think, and you, you know, the the the, the, the love and the passion of food or football can come up, and you say no, you I know, no, I can't, I can't retire. Yeah, I can't retire. I've got a fight, yeah, 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 exactly. I got a fight, and uh, at least if it not if it not happens, you know, I will not have uh, regrets. That stick in my mind that I just walk okay. I do, I do my best, you know, if it happened, it happened and uh, if it not happened, it's okay, you know, I, at least I will, I, I will give, I gave everything. How did you manage your emotion, your frustration during that, that tough period? How did you kind of clear your mind and try to Keep positive and how did you deal with this? Sometimes you know I have to I have to say that you know I was leaving the training ground and you know I was thinking you know asking questions you know and some tears as you know was coming you know was uh, was coming because I was thinking that I wasn't here for the for the good reason you know no. I wasn't here you know to get injured all the time I'm here you know to play football you know and enjoy playing football when you have these difficulties you know you you are frustrated but uh, the most important is to be uh, at peace with yourself, you know. You know how football is, you know. We've been playing football since we were kids. Your kids, yeah. And uh, one thing are good, you know, it's very good, you know. But uh, on, the, on the other side, you know, when the thing goes wrong with you, you know, it can really, really badly affect, affect, affect you, yeah. yeah. I did not want to fall into that, you know. I did not really, I did not want to fall into um, into you know so this kind of maybe depression you know just so okay i love football that's my passion you know i i enjoy playing football but uh, i won't let my uh, passion you know to to break me yeah you know and uh, that kept me going nice take nice touch diaby on the end of it great counter attack from arsenal you had so much talent you were so gifted do you sometimes think if that Dan Smith tackle never happened, what your career could have been? I, th I would say there is two things. The first is that um, obviously I was, uh, I wanted to be, to reach the top, you know, and uh, to see as far as I, I can go, you know. And obviously it created a, a, a frustration, you know, by knowing that, okay, it will be hard for me, you know, to know where is my, where is my top. But on the other side is that for me in life you 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 have done or or you do that's it. So that's always be something that is in your mind. You with know, I could if, have been yeah if if, if, if you do yeah. this yeah. But with if you do nothing, you know, 
And I have to say that I, I've learned so many things out of it. Obviously, in terms of football, you know, I, I did not reach you know, the, the, the level that I wanted. But uh, in terms of uh, as a man, I've learned so much. Retiring, what's your reflection about your career? And obviously, you know, even through injuries, you played at the top level, played a lot of games, had a good career. So what was your reflection of it? To be honest, I just want to be thankful, you know. Obviously, we talk about, you know, injuries, a lot of problems and stuff, but uh, I still consider that uh, I've been privileged. I really want to be thankful to uh, all the people, you know, I've met that helped me, you know, to, uh, to play football, which was my dream.